Alrighty boys, it's about that time. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact reaction video. And just about an hour ago, uh, Koyu just released a Siege Queen's demo, because of course she's coming within like two days of making this video. And yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to both her demo and her teaser, because I've yet to see uh, her teaser yet, and I will be also reacting to her demo also. Now honestly, I wasn't really paying attention to the time, because I had no idea Siege Queen was coming out so soon. I thought we had like another week or something until her banner came up, but I guess time Time flew by faster than I expected. But yeah, Siege Queen will be coming within two days of making this video. And of course, I will be pulling for her on the day her banner does come out, as well as playing her story quest and whatnot. And yeah, honestly, cannot wait for her. Her gameplay looks funny as hell. She's like absolutely adorable, and I cannot wait to put her on the same team as like Nuvalet, who's basically her dad. And yeah, I can't wait to see what her story quest is gonna be all about. But first things first, before her banner arrives, let's go ahead and watch both Siege Queen's teaser and her character demo before she does come out. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be reacting to Sea Tween's teaser first and then her uh, demo right afterwards. Not really sure what kind of a music or what kind of things to expect for these uh, videos, but hey, that just adds any surprise that may come up if uh, if there's any surprise to be had in these videos. But okay, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and begin reacting to Sea Tween's teaser and demo, starting with her teaser. Okay, let's go ahead and begin watching uh, Siege Queen's teaser, first things first, called Siege Queen Everyday Correspondence. Okay, I'm, I'm expecting either some really, really cute stuff out of this, or some very, very, like, somewhat creepy stuff, like <laughs> that one scene she had in the Fontaine Arkham quest. But okay, let's begin watching in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Oh, us. Oh, Nuvi. <laughs> like I said earlier, yeah. Dear Monsieur Nebulet, oh, of course, he is writing to him. Aww. I haven't written in a while, so I thought she's I'd writing send you to her dad. <laughs> Siege Wing. I mean, I'm joking, of course. I, I know Nebulet's not actually her dad, but. I just kind of see it that way. Because Nuvalet's like always concerned for Siege Queen and whatnot. Anyways. The Duke tells me that you're always asking after me. Please, don't worry. Everyone at the Fortress of Meripede is really nice to me. Aww. <gasps> Wolsey, we've had it with you. Uh, what even is this? It's completely inedible. Oh. Suck it up and eat it. Wait. <laughs> oh. The food here is delicious. And the people are super friendly. <laughs> Yeah, sure. The other Melazines come by to visit me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, isn't that like a thing with Sea Tree's character that she does not completely understand the emotions of humans? So she just like makes food that they find disgusting and sometimes misinterprets their emotions and whatnot. I, I think that's like yeah, what she said about her character in uh, the Fontaine Arkham Quest. Anyways, sorry for pausing so often. Let me uh, continue here. Let's watch till the end first. The other Melazines come by to visit me sometimes. They're always full of praise for the fortress, Aww. and they get along great with everyone here. I would not be comfortable with letting the Melazines in the prison, but okay. <laughs> this one's really cute. Let's oh give yeah, it to they have the, the habit of like placing you stickers on everybody, like Risley's Godless and whatnot. <laughs> I think you're completely right. <sighs> Life at the fortress is often pretty uneventful, uh, so my infirmary is empty. You're pretty the uneventful. Time. He's down! He's down! Ha! Too easy. But everyone trusts me, oh. which is really great. I really like being a head nurse. It's almost uh, just getting anyway, burned in the background. The Duke and I are planning on taking a trip out, so oh. we'll definitely see you soon. <laughs> wow, Risley and Cedrin stepping out of the fortress for once? Good I lord. Look forward to it. <laughs> oh. Hmm? <laughs> Aw, here she is. Hope you're not too busy. <laughs> We're here. Aw, how could you hate that smile of hers? That was that was a cute little uh, cute little teaser there. Oh, that, that was that was so so adorable. Also, yeah, isn't there? Uh, didn't they say in the four point seven special program that there's a canonical reason why she looks more human as compared to the other Melazines? Because yeah, I think that's the thing we've been questioning all for a while. Like, why does she have like a human-ish face while all the other Melazines look more like I guess animals? I believe they said that we like explain that in her story quest, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping the reason's not, like, too horrific. Like, she's, like, a mixture between 
a human and a melazine or anything like that. I hope it's I hope the reason is not like uh, too too horrific. But that about does it for Citrine's teaser. Huh, I find it like super super adorable. And yeah, of course here we're gonna be moving on to our character demo, which I'm gonna assume is gonna be equally as adorable. <laughs> Might be even more adorable than Cleese to some extent. Also, yeah, I'm aware that the Nuvolet and Risley shippers are gonna go insane over that last scene. Because let's admit it, Risley and Nuvolet are basically Seedreen's dads at this point. <laughs> But okay, that's an adorable little teaser of Seedreen's, and now we're gonna move on to her character demo. Seedreen, a bittersweet cure. I wonder what kind of music is gonna play here. Because I'm expecting something chaotic like Klee's demo, but also at the same time, like something like a bit more adorable than that. Yeah, I wonder, what, I wonder what the music is gonna be for this trailer. But yeah, I guess let's not dally around any further and begin watching the demo. Seedreen, a bittersweet cure. And playing now. Huh, really? It's medicinal? Oh! Yep. The Fronting Girls! And medicine's one of them. Our maritime flower in full bloom is a great cure for exhaustion. The <laughs> these, are, these drawings but are adorable. You want our maritime flowers? I know a place where there's loads of them. Really pretty ones! Oh yeah, they're on the ocean. <laughs> Okay, this is already really, really adorable right off the bat. Oh! Oh, the crabs must die! <laughs> Pulls out the fucking Glock. I'm going to kill you in cuteness! <laughs> oh no, those poor crabs. Oh yeah, her abilities like basically make me like a Hydro Abyss mate, right? I'm gonna have so much fun with that, you don't even know. I'll keep looking. Yeah, aren't they supposed to be like mostly found underwater? <laughs> no, the new Valette often otters. Damn, the oh damn this music though! <laughs> I love that verse of Attack of her so much. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the heck is this JoJo shit? <laughs> Why is that man's enjoying being healed a bit too much, if you ask me? <laughs> oh, people are gonna meme that to hell and back, I can already just tell. So, I made some herbal tea with added romaritine flowers. It's really refreshing. <laughs> Wanna try some? Uh... Yeah, nah. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe. Uh oh. <sighs> okay, never mind. It's good. <laughs> we won't die. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why didn't you say it was so bitter? <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> well, the important thing is that it works. <laughs> then Chloran and Navia start throwing up in unison. <laughs> oh, that was a really, really adorable demo. I, I really, really like that. I would say it's like more adorable than uh than Cleese. But also this shit was just completely out of pocket. <laughs> like like the bass drop was cool and all, but then there's just seeing this shit just kinda threw me for a loop. Like what is this? Yeah, your yeah, man's enjoying being healed a bit too much. This this guy too. These guys are these guys enjoy being healed way too much. Holy fuck! <laughs> I was not expecting that shit at all. <laughs> yeah, that that, that 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 threw me completely off guard. I was not expecting that shit in this character demo. <laughs> But yeah, that was a very, very good uh, character demo of Siege Wings. I enjoyed it. The music was kind of nice. It was very, very uh, cutesy and whatnot. And yeah, I definitely cannot wait to pull for her in-game and as well as uh, play a story quest and whatnot. <laughs> I also love this moment in the trailer right here. It's just like, oh, we found the flowers. Oh no, the Krabby has them. Alrighty. Time to murder. <laughs> Goddamn, this trailer was very, very adorable, but also very, very funny at the same time. 
I, I love it, honestly. But alrighty, folks, that about does it for my reaction to Sea Dream's character teaser and character demo. What do you guys think about these trailers? Let me know in the comments down below, and also let me know as well if you're planning to pull for Sea Dream or not. Also, yeah, leave a like in the video because it really does support the channel, and subscribe as well if you want to see some more videos or streams from me. I think I'll be streaming on Thursday, uh, the day where Sea Dream's banner goes live. We'll be trying to pull for her as well as I uh, do her story quest and whatnot. So if you want to catch me live doing that, uh, yeah, be sure you sub so you don't miss that stream from me. And yeah, with all that said, folks, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys again in the next video. I hope all of you win your 50-50s on Sea Dream's or Baiju's banners. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day from here on out. See ya, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.